breaking news. Mitchell Trubisky was just listed as the starter on the Pittsburgh Steelers depth chart. Welcome back, everyone. It's your boy, CJR Sports. And today we'll be talking about Mitchell Trubisky officially being like announced and listed as the starter for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So let's get right into this video. So the Pittsburgh Steelers head coach, Mike Tomlin, has re has like almost like resisted about making any public announcement at all about the team's starting quarterback for week one against the Cincinnati Bengals. But all signs kept pointing in between Mitchell Trubisky or Kenny Pickett. And in the week three preseason game, Mitchell Trubisky got uh, first team snaps. We kind of had a feeling that it was going to be Mitchell Trubisky, the week one starter. Then earlier today, the team announced that Trubisky was named one of the team captains. And then the official release of the depth chart slash roster was official today. And Mitchell Trubisky was listed as the number one quarterback on the depth chart. And But, you know... To kind of play doubles advocate for a second, depth charts aren't binding, of course. And Tomlin can still pull, you know, a Kenny Pickett opt-in at any time to play. Or even if he feels like uh, Mason Rudolph could also play over Trubisky this week as well. You know, with a depth chart, it doesn't have to be set in stone. Things can certainly move in, in any direction as the week goes on, as they feel like many, maybe Kenny Pickett will be better or Mason Rudolph will be better in whatever situation. But from what we know now, Mitchell Trubisky is the starting quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers. But the depth chart also lists Mason Rudolph as the number two and Kenny Pickett as the number three. So not even Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett was listed as the number three during preseason. And it has stayed that way going into the regular season. The Steelers must have had a foot flop the two players at training camp. And when the preseason preseason wound down. Teams typically do not keep three quarterbacks active on the roster at any time. Usually it's just a the starter and the backup so it looks like the team could decide to put and um, move these quarterbacks at any time throughout the weeks you know some more tests of the accuracy of the published depth chart will be one of those quarterbacks inactive for this Sunday that's something that we'll also have to consider and also wait to find out is Mason Rudolph going to get like almost red or inactive is Kenny Pickett going to be inactive we don't know going forward this could be a week to week basis to see how each player performs either one in the game or two in practice to see who will be inactive or there's also a realistic possibility where all three are active for the game that's something that we also can't put past Mike Tomlin and the Steelers but Congrats to Mitchell Trubisky. We knew going into it, he probably was going to be the starting quarterback a week one for the Steelers. But Kenny Pickett definitely made it very difficult. And Mason Rudolph also made it very difficult for the Steelers to make a upfront decision. And that's why Mike Tomlin hasn't announced anything to the public just yet. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And it's your boy, CJR Sports. And I'm out. Peace, guys.